I know, yes. but I really want to Good just... afternoon, beautiful people. You already know it's 107.7 WSCS, New Britain, Hartford, The Edge. Your homie DJ Be Easy. And this very, very special guest has returned back to the studio. Everybody, say what up to e What up, what up, what up? definitely been a minute since I've been. Yo, it's, it's been a grip. And you know, the fun fact, shout out to DJ QT, because years upon years, how I first met you was through this interview. Yes, um, shout out to DJ QT every time mm -hmm. I link with anybody in Connecticut, because it's a ripple effect. So he was one of the first DJs to like hear me and see me and was like, yo, let me plug you in with this DJ and this person and this mm -hmm. person, and it's always been a blessing. So QT, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you for all your support over all three years. The real one. Dope, dope dude. And also, shout like another birthday shout out to DJ QT because I saw him having fun and he was lit on his birthday. He was smiling. He was doing this two step right. with his adult beverage. You know, adult you know, beverage. Yes, that's yeah. right. Yes. But yeah. it's been a while. What have you been up to? Like, what have you been up to? Um, a lot. I've been up to a lot. So I guess um. Because we've been going through some transitions throughout the past two and a half years with the whole shutdown, but then you reinvented yourself, and now you're a whole brand. You're a brand to the point that I know to wear an Esau shirt. Brand. <laughs> like, yo, facts. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I mean, I guess I'll start with, I guess I'll work. All right, so pandemic, sorry, pandemic, yeah. guess, right? So um, during that time, I actually had an opportunity to purchase a stage. Mm. So I have a portable stage that goes as big as eight feet to six, eight feet by 16 feet. Um, and it can be broken up. So mm. um, you can get the whole stage or you can get a smaller portion of the stage, but that is definitely available. So that expanded some of my services for sure. Definitely had the opportunity to work in Springfield with my mm -hmm. stage, um, here in Britain, um, and a few other organizations. So it's been great dealing with that. Um, also been getting grants um, continuously. Thank you, God. Um, so once you kind of get in the realm of grants, mm -hmm. um, you kind of end up getting emails, you end up doing workshops, and finding other opportunities that sometimes you realize our grants are not grants, but the network also, like, puts you in a different space of leverage. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess one of the uh, grants that I got um, was to provide creative writing or creative workshops wow. for, um, actually I think that was one of our last interviews talking about the adult ones that I had. Um, was this the podcast in Springfield or the podcast in East Hartford? Because there's been a, there's, yeah, there's yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, it was in East Hartford, yeah. One so, thing I'm gonna say real quick, abundance. 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 <laughs> come, come. Yes. So, yeah, you know, absolutely, definitely abundance of things. So, um, creative workshops is what I've been mostly getting my creative uh, or my grants going towards and supporting. Mm -hmm. um, and Black Girl Magic um, Creative Workshops is one that I worked with uh, another creative um, who's a dancer, Leah, and it was great. So mm -hmm. she's also. She's also a doula worker looking to become a midwife as well. So she just finished up some of her class, her educational portion of it. Okay. Um, so shout out to her for that. But she did the dance aspect of it, of All Black right. Girl Magic, where I did the songwriting. Nice. Um, and we both have um, a basis in yoga practices. So we always started with some type of mindfulness with the girls, and the girls were from ages 8 to 18. Mm -hmm. um, the first time we had about seven girls, the second time we had about 10 or 11 girls. Um, so it's been a blessing to give them this, um, these tools. So basically the workshop is providing people with artistic tools to mm -hmm. express themselves, um, to communicate and to understand themselves as well. So um, that's one thing that I've been blessed to be supported on bringing to the community. Um, another um, opportunity, I guess, keeping with the grant stuff I actually mm -hmm. just received, the latest grant I received um, is Artists of Color Accelerate. What? So, <laughs> Basically what that is, um, they provide workshops to us, uh, master classes, and pair us up with the organization. Oh, so um, they pay us 
to go to these workshops, um, to go to these master classes and to work with this organization. So the organization that I'm actually gonna be working with is the Bushnell. So what? Okay. What? Hold on. Okay. Anybody that's listening from like, you know, New York, Massachusetts, so California, that so the Bushnell in the right. Connecticut area, downtown downtown Hartford area area is very historic. This is big. A lot of Connecticut people and sponsors and whatever, they have money. Yeah. And they put money into the Bushnell. So continues on. Yes, so you can only imagine um, how excited I am about that opportunity mm -hmm. and um, how when I connect with someone or something or organization, um, we both leverage each other. Okay. Um, and it's always a great um, collaboration. Mm -hmm. um, me personally, I make sure that I'm clear on what right. I would like from this or um, how I would like to grow from this. Mm. And I expect the same from the organization, you know, yes. to have that communication so we're both on the same page, we're both growing, um, because I need something from them, they need something from me, you know, yeah. and it's the, and that's what community is. Uh -huh. So when we, when we actually look at the bigger picture, we're here to learn from each other, yes. um, we're here to support each other, and we're here to love each other. So, you know, I'm just blessed with the opportunity to do that. Um, and then was also another beautiful thing that's actually connecting me back to the original. May 5th, make sure you guys mark your calendars. Oh, I'm single single to Mayo? Single to Mayo. Okay, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Please, definitely, definitely pull up to the Bushnell because I'll be performing hey. at the Bushnell for Harper's Got Talent, competing with some amazing, amazing creatives right. and talent. So definitely pull up. Um, there's nine of us. It'll be a nice, dope show. Nothing too crazy long, about an hour and a half. Okay. I believe it's a full show, so you can still get your signal day my on in the afternoon or what have you, yeah. the evening. Um, but definitely a family event for sure. Um, definitely stay in touch with me. Follow my social media, Y-S-A-N-N-E-21. My website has everything, everything. Um, Esamusic.com, Y-S-A-N-N-E music.com. Um, yeah, also been getting more gigs in terms of performing um, with my band and or with other bands having me just as a singer. Yes. So that's beautiful. My next show is actually at Stella Blues in New Haven. Um, so I'll be touching the stage or, with um, Clockwise and Believe in Ghosts. So definitely pull up to that. That's March 18th. That's my very, very, very next show. What time does that start? That on my set's at 9.30. Okay, I'm done with smoking karaoke at night. Okay. So you got time to travel, wow. Yeah, yeah. Right. So definitely, definitely uh, pull up to that. <laughs> my shows are an experience. R&B, jazz, soul is really my vibe. Um, if you haven't seen me perform, so definitely pull up. Um, another. Uh, so one of the um, there's a couple groups. One group um, that's hiring me to do more like. Um, jazz stuff, um, private party, some funk type of stuff, and um, I'm actually working with another group called Mass Confusion, um, which is a collaboration of Massachusetts talent and um, Connecticut talent okay. musicians, and um, I'll be performing with them, they're dope, they're so, so dope, um, they have a sax player, like a woman sax player, they have, um, of course they have a guitar, but this, I don't even know what the instrument is called, okay? Like, it's some random shape of a guitar, and I'm just like, what is that? Are, they, are, they, are they making it's gems a with a ukulele? What's going on here? Yo, bro, everything, 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 everything. And oh, you like, know that it's fire. Yeah, oh, and it's like, like, like the, the songs, like, part of the reason I love working with bands um, is because of the repertoire. You know, there's so much music out, there's so many genres, there's so many fusions. And I really enjoy all of them. Mm -hmm. um, if you, if the, if the music and the song is real, you're always going to connect with it. It's always going to be soulful. So like, there's soulful pop songs. There's or, soulful um, um, R and B, jazz. There's soulful rock songs. There's soulful country songs. Like, so if that song moves me or that space moves me, I'm definitely going to be on that track or mm -hmm. like on that stage with that group because. We're connecting, mm -hmm. you know, art is to connect. The music is how I connect with people. So definitely, definitely, um, any show that I'm at is always an experience. The people that I share the stage with are a whole experience. So like, definitely pull up to anything that I'm at or if you see this logo anywhere. 
smooches, make sure y'all pull up. <laughs> Out of curiosity, who would you want to work with right now, either in the greater New England area or even in the deep root of the industry of music right now? Who would you want to work with right now? Well, I know there's some artists that I have not met yet, but um, oh, there one recent one. Um, he just gives me so much life, and I'm only saying this because I recently so I'm like, yo. Um, his name is Ricky, and um, she plays like the keyboard, the uh, guitar thingy, and he has like the voice box, and he has the keyboard, and I'm just like, oh my Hold on, like, like the original auto tune from like yeah, Roger's yeah, Prophet days. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So he's dope. Um, I know he's like fresh and new in the scene and stuff, but I already told him, so be on the lookout. So he just goes by Ricky? Um, Rickety Smiley. Rickety, Rickety Smiley. Yeah. Rickety Smiley? Yeah. I gotta look, I gotta search him up. I'll send you that. Yeah. Um, but also, <laughs> of course, like the OGs that are like um, in like the music and stuff, like on the jazz side. Um, that like jazz and like soul, I feel like aren't as mainstream. Like, you know, it's kind of like, I feel like jazz and stuff is kind of more underground in my space where I'm at here, mm -hmm. you know? Um, in Connecticut, um, to a certain extent, and maybe I'm not also in the right scene. So hit me up, <laughs> please. You, you know what I just realized? And I was listening to his interview the other day. Remember, um, Malcolm Jamal Warner? Mm -hmm. I forget he's an artist. He yeah. does poetry hey. and jazz. Man, so, so I forgot about that. Yeah. So yeah. Hux, the, 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 the Huxable yeah. boy used to be, you know, he, he, he's an artist in real life. <laughs> so there's also, um, I, I also want to work with um, Jonathan Barber. I want to work with um, John John Ernest. Um, there's just like, there's a lot of like peers that I probably like went to school with and like mm -hmm. we kind of always know of each other but don't like work together in a way. But like, honestly, um, who else? Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm blanking. Um, yeah, in the Pharrell Williams, hit her up. For real, I'm, I'm just, I'm shooting, I'm shooting for, I'm shooting for shots for you. Yes, Pharrell, Pharrell Williams, let's Pharrell, go, absolutely. let's go. We gotta hear or hear on Happy Part Two. Happy. Yo, that was fun. Yes, I'm happy. Yes. Happy long if you feel like a robot out of room. Yes. I don't know all the words. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, um, Pharrell definitely, Miguel, um, for sure, Bruno Mars, like mm. Sonic Vibe, like I'm really trying to like be the female. Bruno Mars, 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 Bruno the universe is your catalog, you know that, right? Yeah, like, so honestly, cool. <laughs> like, I'm just, um, there's certain people that have this certain energy um, mm -hmm. that I want to, like, stay around and stay in the midst of. So, um, Alicia Keys, of course, she was the reason, uh, part of the reason why I started really owning the piano when I first started. Like, mm. when I first, first started, anybody that really know me, before I was Isan, <laughs> um, I played the piano and I sang, like, the piano was my partner on stage. I never, that's a fun fact, I never knew. So, I, was, yeah. I didn't know. I don't really tell people that. Okay, like, all oh, right. Like, oh. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> <that's so many. laughs> but um, that was my first instrument I played, I started playing at six. Um, I understand the formula of composing and everything. Hmm. Um, so, which also leads me to my next thing. I also yeah. <laughs> started working at School of Rock. Yo, <laughs> shout out to Scott, yo. He's doing some amazing things. Continue, yes, continue. Yes. So, um, working at School of Rock for a couple of reasons, the continuing my self discipline for myself, mm -hmm. so to get back on the keys a little yes. bit more um, aggressively, um, so that I can uh, compose more. I have like little snippets of things. Um, of course, I'm going to still need some help from like people like Jero Pitts and things like that mm -hmm. to help flesh out. <laughs> um, shout out to Jero Pitts, my uh, keyboard player. Mm -hmm. um, and my drummer, Rich, you always there for me, bro. Um, so, uh, 
Yes, so I'm working at School of Rock. I'm teaching um, beginner, beginner piano. Okay. I can teach people how to, you know, plug out these notes, play these notes in this rhythm, tempo. Got you. Okay. Um, vocals, I also teach all levels. Please and thank you. <laughs> at, um, <laughs> at School of Rock. So, um, shout out to Scott for giving me the opportunity. Um, it has been a blessing on so many levels and also giving me an opportunity to learn other instruments. So I'll be in the process of that. So you're gonna see East on the whole nother life mm -hmm. by the end of this year, period. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> ultimate business owner, grant or well, grant, receiver, writer, all of that. Um of course artists, because it's like I wanted to talk about the music, but now we're talking about like a whole different galaxy and stuff, which yeah. I am cool with because this is this is what we we this is what we want. And we then, want yeah, the experience, yeah. yes. And speaking of being so like go, 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 yeah. go. I have to also realize, and which is what I'm also trying to put out to people too, you have to like take time to like breathe. Take a moment. Mm -hmm. So I also got my certifications as a yoga teacher. Um, so I do have yoga classes um, on Saturday, actually tomorrow, mm -hmm. out here in New Britain at Pergola. I'll Word. be um, providing a yoga practice. It's called Strength and Balance. That's pretty much what you do to strengthen your body and balance out your body. Um, it's not a quick, quick yoga thing. Like you're, it's breathing through your body, mm -hmm. listening to your body. Mm -hmm. So that's how I lead my yoga practices. So definitely check that out. Um, I also recently, um, in January, we, no, February, we had started in, um, at Free Center um, in Hartford on New Britain Avenue. I'm actually working with um, outside of Free Center, of course, for allowing us to use the space, as well as um, the Booty and the Yoga Academy. Oh. Um, so we are collaborating and alternating on um, Mondays where we would lead a yoga practice. So that's every Monday night at Free Center from 7 to 8. Um, and that that one is thirteen dollars per session. If you end up getting more than one session, it's ten dollars per session. There's also yoga sponsorships. So if you um, are open to sponsoring someone to go experiencing it, or if you have a financial difficulty in paying for it, reach out to us so that we can get that situated for you um, for sure. So definitely have yoga practices coming out. Um, and then actually on the 18th of this month. Um, I have, I'm working with the Gallery 66, Adrian, in terms of what is yoga. So kind of educating the community about what is yoga. You know, it's not just movement. So you also, with, with yoga, you're teaching students patience too. Because <laughs> a lot of times people think, okay, again, you know, I'm supposed to do this and then that knot is supposed to be out my back, but it's, it's a process to yeah. get the knot out your back. Yes, you know? yes, absolutely. It takes a lot of relaxation. We don't realize that we're tensing up until we're aware of it. It's just like yeah. if we have a an unhealthy habit, mm. um, we don't know it's an unhealthy habit until something drastic happens to us, right? Welcome to America. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole bunch of directions. I see. Right. Well, welcome to America. <laughs> so, <laughs> my whole outlook on life, period, is to make sure people have access. Mm -hmm. So whatever that access is, so like. Whatever I have access to, I have no problem sharing that access, yeah. you know, whatever that is, from yoga practices all the way to the music industry, mm -hmm. you know, and like people feel that when you share things, especially like, right, so we're all artists, right? Yes. So anything I share with any of you guys is not taking anything that I have for what I should have shared mm -hmm. with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm only sharing because I want to see you level up too. And when you level up, yes. you're also probably going to see something different that I didn't see in the process of what I need. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, that, again, is where community comes in. We're here to share, yes. to teach, and to love each other, you know? So, like... Thank you for saying this. Shout, shout out to yeah, you, for real. <laughs> First, you're, you're now listening to 107.7 WFCS, New Britain Hartford, The Edge. We're here with Isan, but you brought up an amazing point. What I've realized... In our region of the country, there is a lot of artists that don't like. Not, I'm not saying everybody, but there's a lot, and this has been a, a subject that's been happening for years. But you just brought you just broke it down to the most beautiful science. Like, just we're ha we're here to grow, y'all. 
if you're a millionaire, I'm a millionaire. Mm -hmm. You're a millionaire. Because mm -hmm. we're going right. to show each other how to get yeah, that. One thing yeah. I know. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's no like, <laughs> you know, you're a millionaire and I'm not going to teach you how to be a millionaire. We're going to have the community su suffer mm -hmm. and I'm just going to, you know, ride around in my, my, um, What's, what's my dream car? It's a it's a it's a Pikachu colored co uh, Ferrari. Whatever. Pikachu colored Ferrari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna remember that. 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 I'm gonna remember Yo, we, we got this. Absolutely. We got this. You just, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, you just had, you had to bring that Zen <laughs> yoga energy up in here. And you know what, y'all? We can all win. Oh, yeah. That's it. Absolutely. Oh, Lord. And it's the same with, like, um, even with yoga, right? So a lot of people may say that, like, um, oh, well, they're doing yoga now, and they're teaching yoga now, and everybody, uh, okay. Um, That's cool. Like, again, everyone is going to, even though, for example, a pose called downward dog, right? Or um, chair pose or whatever pose in yoga right, that you're doing, every instructor is going to lead you to that pose differently um, and lead you out of that pose differently. Because um, we all live a different life. Yes. We all have a different experience, which um, is awesome. Um, because we, why not have so many different points of view? Why not have more than one solution? Right. Yeah. So mindset. Minds. Yes. Oh my lord. Music motivation this morning. Yes. <laughs> yes. Music yes. So I actually had a question for you. That's, yes. uh, it's gonna backtrack to where we were um where when you were talking about the bands and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Would you recommend so like a new artist going into any genre mm -hmm. for that matter, would you recommend it'll be good to have communication with those kind of bands, maybe you know, work with those kind of bands. Like for me, I'm a, um, I would say more so a rapper more than I am a singer. I'm not, I'm, I sing here and there, but I'm not really like into the singing as much as I am the rapping. Would it be beneficial to like have a band or be able to work with a band um, in which to like kind of elevate not only your community, as you say, um, but also like what you can put out in terms of your music creativity? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Because um, every everyone has a different experience, um, and for you to tap into a different realm that you're using that in, but they're creative in, it's gonna help you. Um, because now you're getting a different sound, you're getting a different feeling. Um, you get a different feeling when there's live musicians that you're playing with versus then production producers which is it's just different it's not bad or good it's mm -hmm. just a different vibe Understood. you know um and then there's things that production can do that live music can't do mm -hmm. you know um but yeah there, i mean yes the answer is definitely yes okay. um reach out to those different individuals especially i think it's really dope to have rappers work with live musicians because it gives them a different oomph to their delivery for sure. Okay. Um, I know Clockwise does that really well. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Clock. I just said you called me today. <laughs> it's all good. The homie. Clock has been, um, just like you, Easy and Michelle, like, he has been such a great support. Mm -hmm. And it's mutual, you know what I'm saying? Like, you be like, yo, I got this on the blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I bet. Let's, mm -hmm. like, let's see what we can do. Like, I, I know his hustle. I've seen his consistency. Mm -hmm. Like, there's so many things that go into, like, supporting someone, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and even just words of encouragement, you know? So, um, Clock is definitely someone that um, usually performs if he can with the band. Gotcha. Um, and his delivery, his um, his engagement is always lit. Um, so, I definitely encourage that for any, honestly, live performance. There's something to add on, and it's two different spectrums, but it's still, you know, music. Mm -hmm. George Clinton, on a segment on Drink Chance, when he's talking about going to an empty studio, record empty studio because you feel the different vibrations in there mm -hmm. and then on you know a more new school level just blaze yeah. there's sometimes pro tools can't get the the drums right so he actually hires a drummer to drum like think about yeah. jay-z's show me what you got yeah. that was an actual drummer drumming that and oh, then okay. fabulous um the song with fabulous and oh my goodness swiss beats 
Swiss Beats actually didn't do the beat. It was just Blaze that did the beat. Mm -hmm. Swiss Beats was just doing a Swiss Beats hook thing. Yeah, you know, it's does, just Swiss Beats. Yeah. You know, <laughs> but he actually hired an orchestra to be on that fabulous beat. The fabulous song. Um, oh my goodness, it's on something for nothing album. Just Blaze, fabulous Swiss Beats. So Just Blaze was one of the producers that actually showed us on YouTube, like yo, and, and a lot of people don't real like. That's a reference. Yeah. So I'm going to share that with you because that just had me think about Just Blaze mm -hmm. and old school George Qu Funkadelic. Funkadelic. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. Flash, like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. Th that guy. Okay. That that basically George Clinton, is he's involved with the current sound of hip-hop mm -hmm. and music. But that's a whole different conversation. Yeah. But I just had to tell you that real quick. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Music is music, man. Yeah. But um, definitely explore. One thing I like to do um, even though like singing and music is my main like channel right i still explore other other um arts so like i go to dance classes mm. um i paint i you know i try out everything um and, and i support this i can't <laughs> you know what's crazy in our industry and just in life we try to categorize people i can't categorize you because you do like everything <laughs> Like, you know. like you're 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 an ultimate artist oh. when when your mind and your spirit. So it's like I like I'm just thinking about this. I can't really categorize you because it's like yes, like to to the, the novice neo soul R&B artist, yeah. but you're way more than that, yo. Yeah. And you've been building, but you know what? The key thing is you've been working on yourself. Thank you. And I think a lot of us as artists, producers, whatever, keep working. If you're a producer, you know what? You might find some inspiration from walking pit bulls. Yeah. Just walking around. It sounds silly, but just walking around, feeling that air, and seeing how other pit bulls like, interact with other people or other things, oh, yeah. instead of growling, but just understanding your understanding stuff. Yeah. Sometimes it's literally like hearing someone talk sometimes, or like even at a certain tone. Like yeah. for me, I've walked, I've walked to like different places, or I've listened to certain songs that I've never heard before, and then all of a sudden I'm like, dang, I can make a beat to this real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just like, and before you know it, you'd be surprised what you can make out of just that one little sound bite that you got in your head, stick to your head, you go home, cook oh. up something magical. That's what really I was Hold on. You want a mic too? Michelle B. Is that one working? Yeah. Okay, that's that so it's working right now. Okay, okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, I was just gonna say that's what Billie Eilish's um, brother does. Um, I think they were in London, okay. and he heard the way that their street lights, um, either the pattern of it, um, and he took the sound bite of that home and made it now now the trivia guy is be easy but <laughs> he, took, he took the sound bite and he made it into one of Billie Eilish's biggest songs and nobody would even know that it came from a street light so walking pit bulls really made Billie Eilish a gazillionaire wow I didn't even I Genesis I was just that was, a, uh, th that, that was just a vibration of just like okay <laughs> outside because well, anytime you walk in the dog you, you hear stuff Fun fact. Mm -hmm. so I did thank you I like you thank you, 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 know. Yes. you, know? yeah. you know what's crazy we having a great conversation we forgot to play well I played one of your, oh, you I played one of your play tracks that. I played Drop that. I played um <laughs> I played the um the cover of um MCE. uh Shape of You which I gotta I gotta I gotta play that more at the parties and whatnot because that's that's a vibe. I about that. Wow. So we we got some tracks for you that um I want to share with the people. Um, I feel like I'm just gonna just go through like a whole mantra of your music real quick. Oh. You know so so let me let me drop that. But before I drop that. Any shout outs? Wow. Jesus. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> honestly, um, of course, you. Be easy. Michelle B. Thank you for your energy in here today. Appreciate you. Um, here. This makes the video. So <laughs> yeah. um, definitely, my family has been um, a great support. My dad, um, OD support on so many levels. Um, it was his birthday the other day, too. Yes, it was. What's going on with all oh, those Pisces? My Can mom's is on Sunday. Stop. <laughs> oh, I know, Tuesday. Um, 
So shout out to my parents, they're always a big support system. Um, my brothers, um, oh, my, my voice teacher, my, um, my yoga, my yoga school, my yoga teachers I've had, my peers, um, and definitely for letting people. But other artists like Clockwise, who's always been me up, um, singing was up. Um, oh, Pergola, for always holding me down. Um, Word. The space. I appreciate you, Janae. Um, happy Wellington, people. Um, oh, Savannah, nice. my dance teacher, you're awesome. Um, school of Rock, for giving me opportunity. Oh, Frank Backlers. Oh my goodness, he's he's an um, older cat that's um, a bass player. He plays upright bass and um, regular bass. Um, he's kind of taking me under his wing to kind of another networking space in the music for me for some um, private parties and other parties and things like that. So yeah, like honestly, people, if I didn't say your name, honestly, people that have been around and supporting me, um, So yes, thank you guys um, who have supported me thus far. Keep supporting me. It's only up from here. For real. Thank you. And yo, again, follow her on all the social medias. If you got questions, email her. Like, yo, if you need a stage, she has a stage, bro. Yeah. She got a stage. Like, Come on now. We can literally do like pop-up parties. So find me a spot that probably have this property or a business that want to lock in with me. Yeah. Figure out something. Yo, we about to, yo, you already ruling the world. You're going to rule the world once again. Uh, rule the world. <laughs> you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to bring this beat down. Before we get to your music, I'm going to have you give me 16 bars or whatever you're thinking. Or do I have to give you a subject? You can do whatever. All right, I'm bringing this beat down. Okay. Bring this beat down. So my name is Eason and I keep on keeping on baby. I know I don't make no much sense, but I like to sing every note I know. Yeah. Eason on the mic, freestyle on side. Yo. Like literally, that was like okay. that was a freestyle. That was just like that's what you Some get. Some notes and words. Yeah. So we about to get into we about to get into a couple tracks, and I'm just gonna do Isan Roulette. Okay. I'm just gonna yes. type in your name and whatever Serato puts up. I'm just yes, catalog. We just about to do that. You already know you're listening to us on 107.7 WSCS, New Britain, and Hartford, The Edge. <laughs> 